Hello, my name's Julian Edgar, and I'm the author of the book you see in front of you, Custom Air Suspension. It's a book on giving your road car the best ride and handling using air. And what I want to talk about in today's video very much relates to ride and handling. Let's start off by looking at some convoluted air springs that are mounted on struts. What determines the stiffness of the air spring? Well, it's partly the design of the air spring, but it's also, most importantly, the volume of air contained within the spring. And the greater the volume of air contained within the spring, if everything else remains equal, the softer the spring rate. Why is that important? Well, if we look at this BMW factory air suspension system on the back of an X5, we can see something interesting. Here are the two air springs, there and there, but we've also got these extra volumes that have been connected to each of the air springs. These little tanks are called accumulators and they increase the amount of air that is available to the air spring. The pressure inside the accumulator is the same as the pressure inside the air spring. The two are interconnected with this pipe. And so as the air spring moves through its stroke, air can flow in and out of that extra volume as well. The effect is to soften the spring rate over what would have been achieved if we just had those springs by themselves. Now, it's not a new idea. Here is a fantastic photo of a 1930s cord that was being fitted with a trial pair of uh, convoluted bag air springs. Um, convoluted bags, donut air springs, have the characteristic they get stiff very, very fast as they get compressed, and they also don't have a very large volume of air within them. And obviously, in this case, the very large tank that has been connected with a large diameter hose to these air springs increases massively the amount of air that can be compressed as the air spring moves, and so it reduces the rate of that spring. Now, this is from Riding on Air, a brilliant book that I recommend to you if you're interested in the technology and design of air suspension. Lots of interesting photos in that book, including this one. So it's not a new idea, connecting an extra volume uh, in series with the air spring to soften its rate. Here's how I've done it on my car. This is a front wheel drive, which I run air suspension front and rear. Here's the front air spring, left air spring. Here's the front right air spring. As they were provided by the manufacturer of the kit, I thought that the air springs were too stiff for what's a relatively lightweight car, so I was getting too much understeer, uh, overly stiff front end, and so I added an accumulator plumbed to each of the springs in order to increase the volume of air that was in play and therefore soften the rate. And here's the photo of those accumulators. I mounted them under the bonnet, under the hood. Uh, that was a convenient place to put them. And I actually used SodaStream CO2 containers as the accumulators. They can easily cope with the pressure. They're aluminium and they can easily be mounted using uh, pump uh, clamps that are normally used on fuel pumps. Now, the bigger the diameter of hose that you can use between the accumulator and the spring, the better. Unfortunately, the kit springs that I was using and using on the front have relatively small fittings, but these still will soften the rate and do soften the rate of those front springs. What do manufacturers do on their original equipment springs? Well, we saw earlier the BMW additional reservoirs, but what many manufacturers do is they actually change the volume of air that's in play inside the spring. We can see in this design, there is a valve. Uh, that valve, when it's open, adds this air volume to this air volume that's always in play. And what does that actually do to the spring rate? Well, here we have up this particular axis here, the stiffness of the spring, we have it in extension, we have it in compression. And we can see that when we have the two volumes in play, the spring is a lot softer than when we have only the one volume in play. And of course, the manufacturer can actually change the stiffness of the springs on the go by operating that particular valve. Now we can do that as well. If we use a separate accumulator and we put a solenoid valve like this one in the line that connects the accumulator to the air spring, 
by operating a switch, we can change the volume of air that's in play, and so we can effectively change the stiffness of the car's springs as we are on the road. And you can see how helpful that can be. If you want to drive fast, you can set a stiffer spring rate than if you want to drive just for comfort. Now this is a half inch valve. I'm assuming here you're using quite big diameter lines between the extra accumulator and the air spring. Just before I leave you, one other intriguing thing to think about, and this is how I run the rear air suspension on my car. I have, here's the left spring, here's the right spring. I have a solenoid that connect those two springs together when that solenoid is open. When that solenoid is shut, the springs are connected, but they're connected through a restriction. So there's very little air that can flow from one spring to the other. If I open this solenoid, again by flicking a switch, here's the solenoid, it's quite a small diameter uh, line that's used in that one, two things happen. Firstly, the rear, because this is on the rear, the rear roll stiffness is softened because the air can flow from one spring to the other. So if this side is compressing and this side is extending, the air can just flow back and forth, reducing the roll stiffness. But there's another reason that I run this system as well. If this solenoid is open, the springs act as if they are softer and most springs, uh, most bumps that springs are, are coping with are one wheel bumps. Now, if it's a one wheel bump and the air can flow to the other spring, then it makes it softer in rate. So not only is this interconnection changing the roll stiffness of the, in this case, back of the car, but it's also changing the effective stiffness of the springs in one wheel bumps. And most of the bumps that you meet on the road are one wheel bumps. It's all covered in my book, Custom Air Suspension, how to install air suspension in your road car on a budget. And the emphasis of the book is on giving your car the best ride and handling and be able to change, being able to change suspension stiffness by switching volumes in and out or by interconnecting or not interconnecting springs is a fantastic advantage of air suspension. Thank you.